Twin Cities Live is all about food, fashion, and fun. Yeah. You know that when you come and hang out with us. Right. But there's one thing we don't want you to think that we're forgetting. It's family. So this is why Very we bring important. you our Kid Connection series. Today you're going to meet seven-year-old Rory. Look at that smile. Right. She Pretty shared uh, with Twin Cities Live reporter Kelly Hansen why having a mom and dad is so important. And in turn, Kelly was able to surprise her with a very fun trip to the American Girl store. Aurora, or Rory for short, joined me for a lunch at the American Girl Bistro. She started with what every kid wants, hot chocolate, and a question and answer game. Ask me a question. Ask you? Are you ready for the question? Yeah. What is the best quality a friend can have? Do you think that a friend should be honest and nice? Yeah. Oh, I think so too. She's a quiet young girl, but inquisitive. Which one should I eat? The one you just picked up. <laughs> <laughs> she needs a family who can provide her with a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention and someone who's very patient. Aurora lives in a foster home right now, but wants so much more. She would like a dad for sure, maybe a mom. She said she wanted a little brother at one point, <laughs> and like a dog and a cat with a big yard. So Aurora, we're doing a story on you because... Do a story. We're doing a story on you. That's why we're here, because I heard that you're looking for a mom and a dad. Is that true? Mm-hmm. Do you want a mom and a dad? Can you tell me why you want a mom and a dad? Because I want somebody to be nice to me. You want somebody to be nice to you? All the time, right? Yeah. She just wants to have like a stable environment where she can call home and having like consistent people there in her life. <laughs> She's excited. Careful. Lunch was great, but the best part was this surprise. Okay, I'll show you where the well wishes are. Follow me. Oh, so you're going up. Come this way. Yeah. Come on. What do you think about getting your own doll? Would you like that? Yeah. Yeah, should we go pick one out? And my own puppy. And your own puppy. My goodness. Do you think that you'd like a baby? Or do you like a doll like Camille? Baby. You want a baby? Yeah. Let's go look at the babies. Okay. It's a big decision for any kid. Here's what's going to happen. You don't get this exact one. You get a brand new one in a box that you get to take home and open up. Does that sound okay? Yeah. That yeah. sounds great. Okay, okay let's right. go get her. Let's go get her then. <laughs> that works. Next, the outfit. How about I hold the doll and you can look? Don't look. Don't let nobody take it. I will hold on to it. You don't worry. I will, I will take, take care of her. It was a perfect day for this little girl who wants to be loved like she loves. Oh man, Kelly, they're just wow. so sweet. And it's just a, such a reminder when I see these stories of just the simplicity yeah. of mm -hmm. what children are looking for from parents and whether that's applying that to your own children or thinking about how you might be able to open your home to a child. Right. Consistency and mm -hmm. someone to be nice. Someone to, it was a very simple request. And I, if you saw my face in that video, I was just, you know, you don't know what you're going to hear. Yeah. Right. And so when she said that to me, I thought, that's what we all want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But to hear that from a seven-year-old who doesn't have that or who hasn't had that um, consistently is, is, is troubling. So Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So she, uh, she's very young. She's one of the mm -hmm. youngest kids that we featured. Yes. But you say that she really understands that concept of sh the mom and the dad. And she understands. Or a family of She some understands sort. that. Um, and she does have siblings that she'd like to keep in touch with. I do know that. But I think what's hard for her to understand is that she's in a foster home mm -hmm. and that could change. Mm -hmm. So that, that is, I think, um, kind of a scary thing for her to understand Absolutely. that she's been there for a year and that could change at any moment. So oh. that's, that's, that's really the struggle for her. But again, that shouldn't stop someone from, you know, from really looking into adopting a school-aged child because that permanency is what they crave. Oh, and yeah, then Kelly absolutely. has stories of when these kids get adopted and even like their weight gain and their height. Oh, they, right. they change. Just shoot it's up. It's amazing even just how tall they can they can get when they feel safe. safe. Yeah. yeah. We've been talking about these kids for about two and a half years mm -hmm. here on Twin Cities Live and there is now a greater need for families to adopt right. school-aged children. Right. When we children. first started doing these stories two and a half years ago, around 500 children were in the, um, the system, school-aged kids. 
Now that number is at nearly 800 wow. kids here in Minnesota that need that adoptive family immediately. And the numbers break down like this. Approximately 61% are siblings mm -hmm. who need to be adopted together. That's very important. 67% are children of color and 65% and are between the age of 6 and 18 years old. So those are the kids you're going to meet on Kid Connection, those mm -hmm. school-age children. So. 65% um, of those kids, and that's a lot. Yeah. Do you know anything about the process? Like, what would a family have to go through in order to there, do that? There is a lot that the process entails, um, and it's, it's a lot of paperwork, it's mm. a lot of home visits, but the families that are dedicated to this and that know this is what is meant for their family, I mean, it's, it's kind of a waiting game, mm -hmm. um, but it eventually happens. And the matching process is what's interesting to me, finding that family for the child. It takes some work, but it can be done. Oh, incredible. Thank wow. you so much, Kelly. Mm -hmm. Big thanks to the American Girl Store for giving Rory yes. such a memorable day. And there yeah. are several private agencies that are working to place kids just like Rory. You can find all of their contact information on our website and go to TwinCitiesLive.com. Sweet Pete. We have three American Girl dolls in our house <laughs> on top sure? of my four daughters. So, <laughs> you know, I know, I know everything about them. Oh, you've been in yeah. there. Still to come.